Our lecture is about the epithelial tissue by Dr. Rada Sharif. The epithelial tissue is classified into covering and lining epithelium, glandular epithelium, sensory or neuroepithelium, myoepithelium. Covering and lining epithelium. This type covers the surface or lines, cavities, and lumens. This type of epithelium is classified according to the number of cell layers into two types. Simple epithelium, it is formed of only one layer of cells and it includes simple squamous epithelium, simple columnar epithelium, simple cuboidal epithelium, and pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Stratified epithelium is formed of more than one layer. According to the most superficial layer, there are many types. Stratified squamous epithelium, non-creatinized and creatinized, stratified columnar epithelium, and transitional epithelium. Simple squamous is found in areas where passive diffusion of gases occur. The lining of the lung alveoli, lining of the blood vessels and capillaries, endothelium, and the innermost layer of the heart, as well as lining of the pericardial, pleural, and peritoneal sacs, to provide min to provide minimal friction. Simple cuboidal, these cells may have secretory absorptive or excretory function. Examples include small collecting duct of kidney, pancreas, and salivary glands. Simple columnar cells can be secretory, absorptive, or excretory. Simple columnar epithelium can be ciliated or non ciliated. Ciliated columnar is found in the female reproductive tract and uterus. Non ciliated epithelium can also have microvilli for absorption. Columnar epithelium that secrete mucus are found in stomach, colon, and rectum. Pseudostratified columnar epithelium can be ciliated or non ciliated. The ciliated type is also called respiratory epithelium, as it is almostly, almost exclusively confined to the respiratory airways of the nasal cavity, trachea, and bronchi. Glandular epithelium. The glandular epithelium are classified according to the presence or absence of duct into exocrine glands. They have ducts which carry their secretion to the surface of the epithelium as salivary glands. Endocrine glands, they are ductless glands. They secrete hormones which diffuse directly into the bloodstream. They are richly supplied with fenestrated blood capillaries of extraordinary large diameter. The parenchyma cells are polyhedral and organized in many forms, pituitary, thyroid, and adrenal glands. Mixed exocrine and endocrine glands, they consist of the two previous types in the same time, pancreas, for example, pancreas, exocrine pancreas, and islets of Rangerhans, which represent the endocrine part of the pancreas. Exocrine glands are classified morphologically as, as follows. According to the number of cells, they are classified into unicellular glands and multicellular glands. 
unicellular grains formed of one cell as for example goblet cell multicellular grains consist of numerous cells for example salivary glands according to the shape of the secretory part and the branching ducts The exocrine glands are classified according to the shape of the secretory part and the branching of the duct into simple tubular, simple coiled tubular, simple branched tubular, simple branched alveolar, and simple alveolar or acinar glands. Exocrine glands are classified functionally according to the nature of secretion into serous glands secrete water secretion rich in enzymes as pancreas, mucous glands secrete visit mucous secretion as esophageal glands, mixed glands secrete mucous and serous secretion as submandibular salivary gland. According to the mode of secretion, they are classified into mirocrine glands. The secretion leaves the cells by exocytosis. The cell membrane is left intact. No part of the cell is lost as salivary glands. Apocrine glands, during secretion, there is loss of the apical part of the cell as apocrine sweat glands. Holocrine glands, the cells after being full of secretion, they persist and become totally included included in this secretion as species glands. Myoepithelium is a special type of epithelial cells that are modified into to, modified to contract. Branch cells with multiple processes which contain contractile filaments located around the basal part of some epithelial secretory cells. They surround the glandular acini and help in squeezing them to discharge their secretion into the ducts, in sweat glands, salivary glands, and mammary glands. Epithelial cells renewal. Epithelial tissue are relatively labile structures. Both cells are continuously renewed by mitotic activity and stem cell population. The rate of renewal is variable, being fast in some organs as the small intestine and epidermis of the skin, or slow as in the large gland. The epidermis of the skin has many stem cells located along the wall of their hair follicles, while mitosis occurs only within the basal cell layer in contact with the basal lamin. Neuroepithelium or sensoriepithelium is a highly specialized epithelial tissue organized during development for perception of external stimuli. The neuroepithelial cells are provided with herlets or microvilli on their free surface, and fine terminals of sensory nerve fibers are related to their basal part. Site and function of neuroepithelium. Test buds are present in the tongue and responsible for test sensation. 
organ of corti and the inner ear is responsible for hearing sensation. The semicircular canals and vestibule, macula, utriculi, and macula saculi of the inner ear, they are responsible for equilibrium.